Good morning, foodie friends. We're here on our second day in Keaau on the Big Island, enjoying a nice cup of black coffee. On the table are some fresh star fruits picked on the property to eat from our Airbnb hostess, including a beautiful centerpiece on our table. I thought I'd take a tour of the property to show you the lush greenery that surrounds it. Beautiful flowers and amazing fruit trees everywhere and they're free for the picking and she encourages you to pick them and make smoothies or whatever you want to do with them and the property is very vast and huge and you can take a long walk around it and just take in nature and the beauty of it. For breakfast, we're here at Ken's. It's been iconic in Hilo since 1971. It's 24 hours and near the airport, so if you're hungry and need a bite to eat, you can stop by here if you have a late flight in or out. The interesting thing is in Hawaii County, they do not check your vaccination card to eat in. It is not like Oahu. And so this is their menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can check it out and look at the prices and pause if you wish. If you know me, I need more coffee, so I got another cup of coffee. And my son got the pancakes and the eggs and bacon, and it's a kid's meal. And they ask you what kind of syrup you want, so we got coconut. They also have mango. I chose the loco moco with the corn beef. And look at those runny eggs perfectly cooked. You can get them over hard if you don't like them over easy. After mashing everything up with the corned beef hash and mixing it with the rice, it was super delicious. And I like the little crisp bits that they had that were crunchy. The pancakes were nice, light, and fluffy, and that coconut syrup is the bomb. And if you don't like flavored syrups, you can get regular syrup as well. It's so good. Really, really good. Never had a corned beef hash um, local local, but super delicious. You should try it. After finishing up our breakfast, we headed to the Pana Eva Zoo, which is near Hilo. And the great thing about this zoo is it is free. Just because it's free, be sure to either donate and make a small donation or buy something from their awesome little gift shop. We bought a t-shirt.
This small zoo is a nonprofit that protects endangered species. I like the way the zoo is designed because you can see the animals at all angles and they're not hiding like at the Honolulu Zoo. We're at the Halo Lunch Shop, even though we just finished breakfast, but we're picking up some lunch to pack in our car because we're heading to the Volcanoes National Park and that way we can have something to eat because inside the park there are no places to eat or buy any drinks at. So be prepared if you're going there and pick up some lunch beforehand to have a nice picnic.
After a long day touring the park, it was time for lunch. Remember our stop at the Hilo Lunch Shop? Well, it's time for lunch, and we got some Korean fried chicken, some Spam Usubi, some Nori chicken, and some pickled ogo. We're going to start off with the Korean fried chicken. It's fried to a crisp and has a little drizzle of the Korean sweet sesame style sauce on it. It was actually very good and one of my favorite dishes out of all the ones we picked. It's seasoned really nicely and it has a really nice sweet taste. Here is the Spam Musubi. They cut it in half and the half is counted as one Musubi, unfortunately. So you're paying for half a Musubi. It tasted good though. It wasn't bad at all. And it's a classic island treat. Next up is the nori chicken, which is a fried piece of chicken with nori wrapped around it, which is seaweed. I personally, honestly will say it was very tough and hard. And I'm not sure if it's because we had it in our car, but it was kind of overdone and fried too much. That's the inside. It was a little bit dry. This is the pickled ogo, one of my favorite dishes, and I will say it was pretty awesome. Wow, super good ogo. Just the way I like it. After finishing up the park, we headed to the Punalu'u Bakery. It's famous for their sweetbreads and malasadas and other baked goods. Inside, they sell cookies, different breads, rolls, even energy bars. And they have pre-made sandwiches if you're looking for a lunch. They sell cappuccinos and different coffees and also their famous malasadas. They also sell jams and sauces to take home as gifts. And these are their famous Portuguese sweetbreads. This is their taro malasadas that we tried. It's very sugary and light and fluffy. It's a little bit more tender to me compared to Leonard's or other malasadas that you can find on Oahu. And it had the typical purple inside that you would see from a taro type pastry. While in the area we wanted to see the green sand beach and drove an hour and a half to the end of the road at South Point but on the way we saw this abandoned theater and I thought it was pretty cool. On the way to South Point there's lots of ranches and animals and horses and it was a pretty beautiful drive hello mr cow i drove all the way here to find out you have to hike three miles to the green sand beach that sucks doesn't it oh well at least we have this beautiful view of south point and the drive was relaxing I don't mind hiking three miles in and out, but it was 4 p.m. and the sun was setting soon. We came back to the Volcanoes National Park at dusk, just in time for the sun to set so that we could see the glow of the crater in the dark.
for a late dinner, we went to Le Umu Samoan Food. It's located in the Keao Shopping Center. You can get two choices or one choice plates. We got the corned beef and the marinated lamb. We also asked for some ulu for our side, but he was very generous and also gave us kalo, which is taro. So this is what the plate looks like. It is hefty and packed to the brim. The mac salad had some tuna and peas in it, which made it much more tasty. The coleslaw had a little tang from some pineapple. Very delicious. And that corned beef, man, you gotta try it if you ever come here. It's juicy, it's thick, it's delicious. There's the ulu and the kalo and our marinated lamb. I don't even like lamb, but it was delicious. And I'll leave you with the sounds of the nighttime with our dessert, Pani Popo, and we'll see you again on our day three. Thanks for watching.